Hello, thank you for checking out my video today. Today's video is kind of a continuation um, from the last couple of videos I posted. Um, I want to compare these two 8088 PCBs. Um, this is the one I built in my last video. Um, it's got this one I put the 8088 processor, 8088-2. It's got an eight megahertz uh, oscillator and then 32K RAM, 32K ROM. Just a little simple PCB just to kind of build off of. Um, on this particular one, the header, um, it's labeled. I don't know if you can see that in the video, but it's got the data lines and the address lines exposed as well as IO read write. Um, my plan is to kind of use this as just a little bit of prototyping. Um, maybe use it to be a bus controller on an 8086 if it's fast enough. And that's where this board comes in. So this is the same board, but it's got a 16 megahertz uh, oscillator and a V20. And the V20 naturally will run faster than an 8088. Uh, I only have one ROM, so I'll have to swap them back and forth. Um, the, the only future modification I might do to this, I, I like it how it is, but I might go ahead and trade this out for 512K and a 64K ROM. That would require adding one more, uh, decoding for the address, memory addressing, and the, uh, upper address latch. Um, I, I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, but I think I could do that without expanding the board too much bigger. So, demo this over here. In my previous video, I talked about how the 16 megahertz when it was on the breadboard was kind of glitchy and it would cut out. And I was thinking maybe slow uh, memory, but it turns out that this one runs just fine. <laughs> so I'm thinking, you know, breadboards are always a little, a little glitchy, you know, the wiring a little off. What I've got wired up here is just some lights and just to demonstrate that it does work. I've got my little uh, power supply adapter here and I'm coming off the data lines data zero through seven just to a latch which latches to the LEDs and then I come off the IO right and the latch it latches high but the right's low so it goes through an LSO4 to latch. The address is irrelevant. It, it doesn't decode any addressing lines. But let me just demo this here. So this is the 8 megahertz 8088-2. Um, the code, it just writes out AL, increments AL, and then there's some weights in there. And all I do is just loop in place uh, many, many times. Um, I, I've never counted the clock cycles that I'm waiting, but it's it's pretty high. So you can see how this one's counting. It's, I would say, kind of slow. Thing is, if you don't put wait cycles in there, then your lights are all just red because then it's too fast. So... Move this ROM over. And so far, I've actually never had this one crash. Let's see if today's the day. I put it right up. And you can see it's considerably faster. Um, it's actually a little bit more than twice as fast because the V20 does run faster. And, that, and that's why I built this board with an oscillator instead of the 8284 is because the 8284-1 maxes out at 10 megahertz. So to maximize these 16 megahertz V20s, I just put an oscillator on there. So anyway, that's uh, where I've got to on this project. Um, like I said, I might I might build a little bit larger board, a little bit more memory, but I think the project's kind of where I want it. 
So thanks for checking out the video.